gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for joining me again today. Continuing on, I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company from Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky Pumpkin Barrel Ale. That's going to be uh, aged in bourbon barrels with a 10% ABV. It says it's ale with natural pumpkin flavor and aged in oak bourbon barrels. So it's going to be a little bit of a kicker. 10% alcohol. So let's get this thing into a glass. See what she's all about. Got a picture of a horse's head there. Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know. Is that where the Kentucky Derby is from or something? I don't know. It's like all the... Uh, Pumpkin beers. It's got a wonderful color. Pumpkin just gives it a really nice golden dark color. Hmm. That little off-white foam head is is just very very smooth. It almost looks like a like a memory foam mattress. You know, you ever seen one of those? It's the way the bubbles are. I mean, and it's just so very smooth. Lots of carbonation coming up from the bottom. It's always a good sign. Not smelling any of the bourbon. So, hopefully I can taste it. And I can taste the other things as well. I'm getting a little bit of the spices. It's got a very, let me say, once again, pumpkin beers with these spices. It's a very pleasant aroma. Very pleasant. Cheers. It doesn't disappoint. The first thing you get right on your tongue is the bourbon. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's it's there. It's present. Just from those couple of sips, I can tell you know, it's, it's warming me up right here. But I do taste. I do taste. I get the pumpkin and I'm getting the spices in it as well. So it's not like the the bourbon is totally overpowering the beer. almost gives it a, a semi-sweetness as I'm taking, you know, rapid sips in, in succession. There's like a, a slight sweetness that's coming from the, I'm getting it from the bourbon. It's the bourbon flavor, but the way it's mixing with the, with the beer and the spices, it kind of gives it a little slight sweetness. Not a sweet beer by any means. I say it's it's good. The the bourbon flavor is the prominent flavor. So you can taste the other flavors. However, uh, if you really enjoy the pumpkin flavor, uh, this probably isn't the pumpkin beer that you're gonna like. Now this one say I say it's ten percent alcohol. This is a a high alcohol beer so it tastes good you do taste the bourbon it's gonna get you there quick but what what it what it has in the bourbon flavor it, it's kinda of lacking it in the in the pumpkin and the spice it's like the you know the bourbon flavors up here and the pumpkin and spice flavors down here so you're getting a lot more of the bourbon flavor you can still taste it it's a decent beer. It's a strong beer. If you don't like barrel aged beers, I think you'd probably like this one though, because like I say, bourbon flavor is there, but it is not, it's not obnoxious. It's not, uh, it's not super strong. Are you coming? He's off camera uh, 
shouting out his demands, I guess, I don't know, his uh, rider and his contract. I guess we didn't have enough friskies or something in the, in the dressing room or whatever it is he asked for, I don't know. Him, probably it's a, a T-bone steak or something, you know. He's not happy. I'm, I'm okay with this beer. I, I'm going to give it a six. Um, the only reason being is, you know, it's a, it's a pumpkin, it's a pumpkin beer. Pumpkin barrel ale. Uh, it, the pumpkin is just not enough. They need more. Um, it is a good beer. It's worth buying again. Um, like I say, so far, so far on the pumpkin beers, my personal favorite has been the Blue Moon Pumpkin Harvest Wheat. To me, that was just unbelievably delicious. What in the world is going on? Time out. I gotta go check on the, uh, on the star and see what's going on. Okay, so apparently, yeah, his, uh, I don't know what they call it, at the craft table. I don't get one of those, but apparently he does. And uh, it didn't have all the raw fish and steak and other things that he had uh, put on there. So he's a little bit upset, so he's probably not going to make an appearance this time. But uh, he'll live and learn. Yeah. Okay, back to it. I'm giving it a six. It's a good beer. It tastes great. Like I say, though, it uh, for being a pumpkin beer, it just needed a little bit more for me. Um, if you're not really into the pumpkin beers, you like the bourbon, bourbon barrel beers, you'd probably love this beer. It's decent. It looks nice. Smells nice. I mean, it does taste nice. It's just, it's not all I was hoping it would be. Yeah. Mm. Always that smell of the pumpkin spice things up just mm, enhances. It enhances the experience of a pumpkin beer. Yeah. All right, so signing off from the Kentucky Pumpkin Barrel Ale, 10% ABV from Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company in Lexington, Kentucky. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. Till then.